Taurus. Hello, my lovely bulls. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Crow Tarot. We are gonna be doing your second half of April general reading here. We will be starting off with some animal energy, just how I like it, and we'll go right into the Tarot. All right, let's get it. What is the animal energy for Taurus for second half of April, please, and thank you. Animal energy for Taurus for second half of April. Ooh, yes, oh my God, I love this so much. Dragon, yes, dragon. This is clear seeing of oneself and others. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I ain't gonna start off slow, y'all. This is clear see, clearly seeing yourself and others. This is that ancient, um, real inner strong knowing, right? You may be entering into a, a point or a phase here where you are seeing things, and really mainly yourself, more clearly than you ever have before. No pressure. <laughs> What's going on with this dragon energy? You know, it's also just to like um, get into a little bit more. It's also connecting with wisdom that you've carried within you, within your DNA throughout your different lifetimes too. I know that's a bit woo-woo esoteric, but that's what dragon is for me. It's a mythical creature. Let's get a little woo-woo, right? Okay. What is going on for Taurus for second half of April? Oh my God, 10 of cups, tens, tens, tens across the board. Complete and utter emotional fulfillment. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs> Seriously, and you see this little canary at the top. I, I really feel like um, this 10 of cups is coming from a place of, of work that's been done to get here, okay? I do not feel like this is something that just happened overnight. Sometimes it's like that. Uh, seriously, sometimes it's really, really like that. But I feel like it's it's been some, uh, you know, some work getting here in a way. And I, and I feel like a lot of it has to do with maybe you're just seeing yourself and knowing yourself in a really beautiful way. Know thyself, right? Okay. Wheel of Fortune. The odds are very much in your favor. This came up in the upright. This is an upswing. This is lucky, lucky, luck, luck, luck right? And I'll point this out. You've got two tens here, which are all about completion. I feel like you are, you are moving towards a place where you are really tying up loose ends, but really receiving things in a bounty and abundance that have been due to you for a minute. And I feel like you've been pretty patient about it, at least here recently. Gorgeous. Let's get another one. Going on for my Taurus. Ah, so the 10 to the 10 to the nine. The Hermit. You know, this is actually really gorgeous. Um, it's your second major arcana here. You know, so the Hermit very much speaks of taking time to yourself, very much echoed by the dragon here, right? Taking time to go inside and really, so the star here is the star from, the star in that lantern is the star in the star card, right? Aquarius energy there. So this is really taking the time to go quiet and be still to really gain further insights and wisdom moving forward. This could be a lot of goodness and bounty that's come at you pretty quickly and all at once. So it would make sense from 10 to the 10 to the nine, right? Where you're like, okay, I'm really happy about all this, but I need some time to process. But this is like, it feels like for y'all, it feels like it's a happy processing, right? But I mean, 10 of cups and wheel of fortune, it really might be like a deluge. <laughs> you're like, oh, just need a minute <laughs> to kind of uh, process all of this fabulosity, right? Okay, let's see what the deal is. Let's see what the clarifiers for this Ten of Cups here, though. Let's see what this clarifier is. Oh my God. I cannot tell you the number of times that Six of Cups has come up in these readings today. I cannot even tell you. Six of Cups. <laughs> let's talk about it. <laughs> Six of Cups for the Ten of Cups, you really could be dealing with a romantic situation from your past, someone from your past. This is also a Twin Flame card for me. But also, if it's not that, then you are connecting with someone who fills you with that childlike sense of wonder or, you know, loving like you've never known hurt before in the traditional deck. This is a little boy giving a cup with a flower in it to a little girl. It could also be, it's that kind of feeling when, if this is someone that you uh, have never met before, 
with this Ten of Cups here. This is this is romance, okay? There's I'm not even gonna be vague about that. This is romantic in nature, okay? This can be where you meet someone and it's that supernatural level of deja vu where you're like, this is the most intense deja vu I have ever had. And I knew you were gonna say that. And you're texting each other at the same time and you're, you're calling each other at the exact same time. And so it goes straight to voicemail and then you call each other back and laugh about it. I was just calling you, I was just calling you. I mean, it's that level, okay? Beautiful, but for some of you, this is, again, someone you've had a past life connection with and or someone that is from your actual past, okay? Coming in around for that emotional fulfillment. Yes, Taurus. Okay, let's get a clarifier on this Wheel of Fortune here. I love it. Okay, we got three of pentacles here. You could very much be dealing with someone who you will work with. I keep hearing we make a great team. This could be someone that you're actually working with. You met them through work or you meet and then you decide to like do this passion project together that maybe you can monetize, right? But this is, this is really being acknowledged um, for the, your particular set of skills. I have a very particular set of skills, right? Very much like that, but it really feels it is with the Wheel of Fortune. You also could be experiencing an upswing in work, okay? But I also feel like this person here too, I feel like you're getting all of this all at once and it's just like, oh, you know what I mean? But I also feel like really this, I, I think that work is gonna be on the upswing. Um, I think you're gonna be seen for your individual talents, recognized for your individual talents. And or I feel like uh, this could have to do with this romantic situation where you guys decide to come together and birth a work project into, um, you know, being. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for the hermit here. Clarifier for the hermit here. Oh my God, okay. We got the emperor, oh Lord, okay. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. It's I, I can't with all the major arcanas and all the ooey gooey goodness. <laughs> You've, this is like an amazing reading for y'all, honestly. So the emperor, Aries energy here, right? Aries energy here. And then we've got um, Virgo energy here. So the emperor is very sure, very, very sure. <laughs> he knows what he knows. <laughs> there can be some rigidity in thinking here, but he's very, um, very, very, very self-assured. And I feel like that is linking up with this dragon energy here. I have to say something. This dragon energy here could very much be around this romantic counterpart as well. They could see themselves very clearly and or see you very clearly. Could be a bit of an eye of Sauron coming at you where it's like, boom right? The fact that this emperor is clarifying the hermit energy here, because the emperor is also very much about work, but it's also happy home and family and feeling really secure in what you have. This is also financial abundance, right? This, you know what the emperor represents to me in this context? This is that really elusive passive income where you are literally on vacation in, you know, Dublin. <laughs> I don't know, Dublin. And then your phone, you're just checking your phone as you're, you know, eating out to lunch, having some good Irish stew. And then your phone keeps, you know, beeping as, you know, payments are being deposited into your checking account. That's passive income while you're making money while you're vacationing. Hello! That's beautiful. And it's very elusive. <laughs> um... So this, to me, is really about the fact that the emperor is clarifying the hermit card here is kind of saying, you know, accept all of this goodness for what it is. And yes, you may feel a need to hold up inside, but this is really about the time for effort and searching and looking and waiting and all of this stuff is done. It's done. It's here. It's going to be around for a hot minute. Dragons are ancient energy. This is not a fleeting knight of wands. Did not come up anywhere here. There's no indication of anything leaving as soon as it came in. Okay? This is a stable, lasting energy with what we're clicking into here. Okay? And I also am hearing, this is a very interesting combo, the hermit and the emperor. And what they have in common is they don't feel the need to do very much. The emperor's already done a lot. I'm sorry about that noise outside. They're doing something with the street. 
But the emperor appreciates the bounty that he's already earned and doesn't feel the need to do much more. He knows how to delegate. The hermit is actively and consciously taking a step back to reevaluate. So I really feel like this is a time for you to be in a place of receptivity and please don't think that it's too good to be true. I just heard that. Some of you really might have a reaction to all of this bounty, like is this too good to be true? Which is really just fear and really just a byproduct of your past experiences. Past experiences. If this is someone from your past, Mm, you could be thinking, is this too good to be true, right? And, or if it's not someone from your past, but it's someone you have a past life connection with or someone who makes you feel like a kid again because you've experienced, you know, um, unhappiness in the past with people coming in and leaving or whatever have you or life pulling you apart or whatever, it doesn't mean it's gonna go down this way this time. But this is about receiving all of this loveliness and then really basking in it and not feeling the need to get more. And it's not too good to be true. My lovely bulls, it is not too good to be true. This is something you've earned, okay? Let's get an oracle for you guys. Um, I am feeling this one. Let's get an oracle for my lovely bulls. What a gorgeous spread, no? Ten of Cups clarified by Six of Cups. Wheel of Fortune clarified by, by Three of Pentacles. The Hermit clarified by the Emperor. I love it. One more shuffle. I keep getting the wolf. The wolf keeps peeping out. Wolf instinct. That might resonate for some of y'all. Might have a particular connection to wolves. Okay. So what's the oracle for my... <laughs> Let's get another one. <laughs> Let's get one more as a bonus, yes. Are we good? Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, look at what's at the bottom. Rainbow, blessings. Oh my God, look. Rainbows for days. Yes, I love it. Somewhere over the rainbow indeed, Dorothy. Island, solitude. <laughs> I mean, let's just talk about this. Um, I feel like this is gonna be different for different people. I feel like you might be being called to take an active sol time of solitude right now because you have the heads up that you're about to manifest all of this and very soon your time is not going to be all yours. Because when we get with someone or we manifest a new work relationship or whatever have you, or work income, whatever have you, you know, suddenly our time is not ours. And we wish that we had a heads up so that we could really actively solitude hard. <laughs> I think that's the case for some of you now. For others of you, I feel like when you meet this person, you're going to be very, um, very much wanting to just hermit up with them, kind of escape from the world, and just really be together intertwined like two branches of a tree, like a tree. The emperor. And the emperor is very much a tree. Aries energy here again. But it's that that tree is rooted. Those roots that I keep getting these like tree root. Oh, and then we have a tree here too. And a tree on the back of the car. Look at those roots. So I feel like it's either of those things. It's either like solitude hard right now. You know, be by yourself right now. Get your me time right now. Because you're about to get all of this in a big way. And probably all at once. I also, you got the Stone People Vigilance card here. And for me, this is um, really commenting on the, you know, it's not too good to be true. It's not too good to be true. Be vigilant with your own thoughts and remember something that you manifest what, you know, what you think about, you bring about. You are in manifestation mode right now. And I feel like I need to say this again. What you think about, you bring about. So be vigilant and please stay positive because you are on, you are a, literally a fingernail like away. Does that make sense? Like a fingernails, you know how the fear <laughs> you know how I'm being so articulate right now. Um, you know, fingernails are thin. Like that's how close you are to everything that we're seeing here, okay? If this reading is for you. So again, I, I'm really here to be vigilant with your thoughts because you are a manifestation magnet right now. So you will manifest what you think about, okay? 
clearly seeing oneself and others and really being in a place where you can receive this bounty in a really beautiful way. Instead of going through feelings of, oh, am I worthy? Oh, is this gonna work out terribly like other things have in the past? No, 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 no. You have so many majors here, which you know foretell of destined events, things that are meant to come to you in this lifetime. No, it is not too good to be true. If you find yourself getting to a place where you are feeling overwhelmed by all of your good fortune, and I know that sounds like a joke, but I don't mean it to be funny. Sometimes getting what you want can be overwhelming. I'm not even kidding you. And what is overwhelmed really saying? That it can, you know, incite some fear because suddenly you have everything that you want and then the human aspect kicks in and then we become fearful of losing it. It's like, wow, now that I have it, I can't imagine not having it. Just be careful of that. We're humans. That's what happens. Okay? But you are a bull. You are a fixed sign, Taurus. So be stubborn with yourself in terms of your, your thought patterns right now. Okay? This is gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous. I'm getting to get one last... Angel, uh, we haven't got one of these yet, but I'm getting to uh, hear you get an angel message for you. I really, really am. Because things are about to be in an upswing in such a beautiful freaking way. Rainbows. <laughs> I just, there's something about rainbows too. Okay. Angel message. Okay, I cannot. I cannot. Prosperity. Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Abso-freaking-lutely. This is commenting on, now we did get the three of pentacles and I did say that there's gonna be an upswing in work, right? Yes, and I do feel like it's all gonna happen at one time. The work could deal directly with this person or not. It could just happen at the same time, okay? But this is very much speaking on, you know, the, the key words here, follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into a reality. What did I say? What you think about, you bring about. And there's abundance here, and it is not too good to be true. Ten of cups, that stuff. Get this real clear in your mind, in your mind's eye. Visualize this every day because you are this close. Like, this close. What's a good unit of measurement? I don't know. You look a centimeter off. <laughs> You're almost there, okay? You're almost there. So so well done, Taurus. I'm really excited for you guys, my fellow fixed signs, okay? I completely relate to, um, you know, that energy. Okay, this was your second half of April general reading. I so hope that this was of help to you and resonated with you. If it was and it did, please let me know in the comments below. I would just, I would love that a lot. I really appreciate every single one of you who takes the time to watch this. I really appreciate your support. Um, and just, just thank you and thank you for being you and be well <laughs> until next time.